morning, everyone. Today we will sing the summons. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Where you go, where you don't know, and never be the same. Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you risk the hostile stare should your life attract or scare? Will you let me answer prayer in you and you in me? Will you let the blinded see if I but call your name? Will you set the prisoners free and never be the same? Will you kiss the leper clean and do such as this unseen and admit to what I mean in you and you in me? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather on this feast of St. John Vianney, patron saint of all priests, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Father Anthony McNamara and the special intention for Enda McGowan. Gather, gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest, St. John Vianney, wonderful in his pastoral zeal, grant, we pray, that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, write in a book all the words that I have spoken to you, for thus says the Lord, your hurt is incurable, your wound is grievous. There is no one to uphold your cause, no medicine for your wound, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you. They care nothing for you. For I have dealt you the blow of an enemy, the punishment of a merciless foe, because your guilt is great, because your sins are so numerous. Why do you cry out over your hurt? Your pain is incurable. Because your guilt is great, because your sins are so numerous, I have done these things to you. Thus says the Lord, I am going to restore the fortunes of the tents of Jacob and have compassion on his dwellings. The city shall be rebuilt upon its mound and the citadel set on its rightful site. Out of them shall come thanksgiving and the sound of merrymakers. I will make them many, and they shall not be few. I will make them honored, and they shall not be disdained. Their children shall be as of old. Their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all who oppress them. Their prince shall be one of their own. Their ruler shall come from their midst. I will bring him near, and he shall approach me. For who would otherwise dare to approach me, says the Lord? 
and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion. He will appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of his destitute and will not despise their prayer. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be recorded for a generation to come so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord, that he looked down from his holy height. From heaven, the Lord looked at the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall live secure. Their offspring shall be established in your presence so that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When peoples gather together and kingdoms to worship the Lord, the Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord set me to bring good news to the poor and freedom to prisoners. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless, like a sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Then Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. As we celebrate this feast day of St. John Vianney, the patron saint of all priests, this is a man who loved bringing the mercy of God to his people, a man who spent between 12 and 16 hours a day in the confessional. I'll say that again. 12 to 16 hours a day in the confessional. Everyone in the village would come to him to seek the mercy of God. He transformed a village from basically pagans to many saints, so much so that as the bishop tried to move him each time, the petitions happened over and over and over to keep this holy man, who in the seminary was seen as the least intelligent, the one who was unable, wouldn't be good enough, and yet now he's the patron saint of all priests. With God, all things are possible. But John Vianney recognized the need to be drawn to the mercy in the heart of Christ. A man who proclaimed the mercy of God and the penance and repentance of God's children. That's us. Also on this feast day, we should be praying for our priests. Parishioners of St. Joseph, please, God, you pray for myself and Father Bill and Father Ed each day. Those who do not belong to our community, please, God, you're praying for your own parish priest. How many times a priest says, well, pray for me. Oh, you're the Holy One, Father. I pray that that's true, <laughs> but I still need prayer. We all need prayer. You have a responsibility to pray for your priests, just as your priest has a responsibility to pray for you. So as we turn to this humble disciple of Christ, a man who loved God so much, may we be inspired by his faithful witness, and may it help us to lead our vocational call to the full. St. John Vianney, pray for us. Let us pray. Together let us join in offering our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church and all its leaders, 
May the Holy Spirit renew us each day to keep our eyes fixed on him, we pray. Let us pray for our elected and appointed leaders. May God give them eyes to see those who are in need and hearts to serve them first, we pray. Let us pray for all who are sick. May the Lord bring them healing, comfort, and strength, we pray. Let us pray for our faith community of St. Joseph. May God make us witnesses to his transformative love, we pray. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for researchers to find a vaccine, for all frontline workers and all those who care for the sick, that God may protect them and for all those who have died as a result, and for the families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. And let us pray for all who will die this day. We also pray in a special way for one of our former priests, Father Anthony, the Carmelite, and for all who have died. May the Lord bring them swiftly home to him, we pray. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts, Lord our God, hear these prayers we bring before you this day. Please answer them according to your most holy will. We ask this in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your sacred altar in commemoration of St. John Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new. And offer us your signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. 
my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servant, Father Anthony, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. John Vianney, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home who will be receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, 
confirm and increase strength from on high and all who celebrate the feast day of St. John Vianney, that we may persevere in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Will you love the you you hide it by but call your name? Will you quell the fear inside and never be the same? Will you use the faith you found to reshape the world around? Through my sight and touch and sound in you, and you in me. Lord, your summons echoes true in you, but call my name. Let me turn and follow you and never be the same. In your company I'll go where your love and footsteps show. Thus I'll move and live and grow in you and you in me. God bless you.